We happen to be on location near Melbourne, Australia. We're visiting with our gracious hosts, Alex and Sheena Dunn. We don't know it yet, but but we're soon to witness a fantastic hailstorm. Oh, I, I had a hand glider. He looks like he's in his PJs. He's got his slippers <laughs> on. He's got shorts that look like <laughs> pajama bottoms. He was not a Checking out the past <laughs> Yeah. Gliding. <laughs> no, normally, that's why it's Now it gets me back when I'm more. It, normally it gets <laughs> you in the head. <laughs> that guy there, that's, that's the fire chief. Alex has mentioned the extreme drought over the summer. He mentioned that the fire chief lives next door, which is very fortuitous. Hard work. Emma? It looks like a lot of hard work. There's, there's rabbits in here somewhere because she plays with them every night. And this, this thing here, that's an electric fence. Or is that tree? No, it's dead. It's dead, yeah. yeah. So we're going to wait until fire season's over and yeah. then we'll cut it down. And because this is lower than the roof, it goes through this pipe here. From the roof. Gravity fed. Yeah. We're heading over to one of the uh, drought reduced feeder lakes that supplies the reservoirs, one of the main ones for the city of Melbourne. Well done. That's about 30 or 40 feet down. As we head back to Dunlin Manor, it's obvious that it's getting much darker. There could finally be some rain. You were right when you said you get the good good energy of the bad storm. Son Richard has shown some of the hailstones of the type that, despite efforts to cover the car, has dinged his new car. Hey, Mom, have you got some trouble? 